Hello and welcome to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name's Sue Finley and I create resin tutorials for beginners. This is a quick time lapse of my latest online class, which I shall leave a link to in the description below. This is just a brief outline on how I created this multi panel resin art. To start off with, I've spray painted the boards silver, then covered them in clear resin. I've then mixed up some steel colour and added those, that to the resin and added it to the sides. I've then also added a touch of metallic powder to the surface of the resin just to give it a little bit of a, a sparkle. Now I'm just using dry pigment and I'm using the back of a spoon to run that over the surface of the resin to just give it a little bit of extra oomph. Next I'm just adding some Lares Angel White which I'm going to create the cells and lacing with so I've just added a touch of mineral turpentine to that and then blown the, this about. I'm not going over the top with the blowing at the moment because I'm going to come back later when it stopped moving and is starting to thicken up a little bit and I will then use the heat gun to create some extra cells and lacing. And I've also put some more of the Lares Silver Knight on top of the white to just help give a bit of contrast in those colours. So now it's been about 10-15 minutes and I'm using a heat gun to help break this resin up so I'm concentrating it in certain areas to help break that up. If you want to know more about how I use heat to help break the resin up I have some other I have some resin tips in my channel so just go over and have a look at my resin tips and that will help you with creating lacing. So for these I'm also adding some crushed glass to the outer edges just to give it a little bit of texture and dimension. So those have been left to cure and it's now the next day and I'm, we're now working on the next part of this project. So I've glued these panels down using Tarzan glue but you can use a Gorilla glue and then I'm going to just paint the background black and that includes the sides of the boards as well and then I'm going to leave that to, to dry. I left it overnight and came back the next day to just make sure that that was well and truly dried on the board. Now using a brush I'm just making sure that I, I get into all the nooks and crannies and, and cover the sides also. Once dry it's time to pour our resin. So as you can see there I'm just adding a touch of 3-in-1 oil to the resin because I want it to create its own shapes and patterns in the resin. So I'm starting out with the same steel colour that I used on the outer edges of the cut shapes. And then I'm also going to use the, the Lares Silver Knight as the um, contrasting colour. I'm not using white in this part because I do want it to remain darker than the, the raised pieces just so that we've got a bit of contrast. So I'm just using a stick to just push the resin out to all areas and just making sure that the resin goes all the way up to the edges of the cut panels. By adding some of the 3-in-1 oil I'm getting some really nice effects happening in the resin. As you can see that the resin is bubbling and creating its own shapes. And So now I'm just adding the Silver Knight. Now this has been added to the resin prior to pouring and this also has some 3-in-1 oil in to just help break that up a touch. Just make sure that the sides of your board has got resin coating also. So I'm just using my gloved hand to make sure that those sides are well and truly coated. So once you've poured your resin you want to get rid of any um, small micro bubbles so just use your heat gun or blowtorch to eliminate those and then just touch up any edges that need touching up. 
I'm going to let this sit for about 10-15 minutes and then I'm now going to go through with the edge of a stick just to pull some of the resin and just get some movement. I'm being mindful not to overthink and overdo the pulling of the resin so I'm just using the edge of the stick and just following the contours of the shapes. Then once that's done I'm just going to use some acrylic diamonds to finish off the edges of the shapes so this just gives it a little bit more added dimension and texture. The, the acrylic diamonds also take on the colour underneath the resin so as I've painted the board black it's the acrylic diamonds is showing the black through and it's adding some contrast to the cut panels so that they stand out more and just like I say adds extra dimension and texture. I hope you enjoyed this quick snapshot of my latest online class. If you did then please give it a thumbs up or better still subscribe to my channel. I also have many resin tips and ideas for your resin projects so go and take a look at my other videos and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.